Hi there. Welcome to our channel. Do you presently own Milwaukee Tools briefcase vacuum? Are you looking at Milwaukee Tools new M18 Fuel two and a half gallon pack out ready vacuum? Are you saying to yourself, will it really integrate any better than my existing vac? Does it suck any better than my existing vac? Will I still be able to use it depending on where it's stacked in my pack out? Well, we're gonna answer all those questions right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. Head on over to our merch store where you can get the most lit hats in the business. You can get hoodies, t-shirts, stickers. Link will be down below. Welcome back to those of you that have been here before, but if this is your first time here, my name is Vince. Welcome to you especially. We have Milwaukee Tools M18 Fuel driven to outperform, pack out compatible, up to 60% more suction. We're gonna test that out. Unmatched mobility, less downtime, and up to two times quieter. We actually have, it's called a decibel meter. We have one of those, we can actually test that out. You'll see here, this is tool only, battery and charger not included. It's product number 0970-20. You can use any M18 battery with this tool. I think that a lot of the testing that they've done is with the six amp hour HO battery, be mindful of that. I will let you know in this configuration, tool only, this pack out compatible vacuum cleaner is 199 bucks. Now, here's the question. Being that it will stack into your pack out, does it make it more versatile for you? Also, when it's stacked and where it is stacked, is it even feasible to have it that way? Like, can you use your vacuum if it's stacked into the pack out? We're gonna test all that. We wanna see if it really does have unmatched mobility. The specifications you got. Max airflow, 50 CFM, max sealed suction in H2O, 47 inch. Whoa, so it, they're saying that it will actually suck water from almost four feet? Maybe we should test that. And run time, high 30 minutes, low 50 minutes. And I believe that's based on using a six amp hour battery. Wet capacity is 1.8 gallons. Dry capacity is two and a half. Length and width, 17.1, 10.5, height, is 12.8 inches, weight is 11.3 pounds. Inlet diameter is an inch and a quarter. Ah, pretty cool. Everything's already contained inside. Here's the deal. Why are so many of you going to be interested in possibly picking up this new pack out vac? Because you probably saw our video here. You go and check it out. It was a once in a lifetime tool deal on Milwaukee Packout. These three boxes we scored on a glitch. If you were unaware of the glitch, you probably missed out on it. It was for a very limited time, about four hours the deal ran. We scored these boxes that normally could be like $250, $260. They happen to be running on promo during this holiday shopping season for $179, but we got some intel from a good friend of the channel. Let us know that there was a glitch going on. We tested it out. In this configuration here, $109.87. That's like a third of the normal price. It was a limited time, but a whole bunch of you scored it. You might not have. The way you don't miss it the next time is get subscribed and tap the bell. Now that you have the boxes, you're probably looking at some other pack out accessories like this vacuum. Here's something that's pretty awesome. When we opened up the vacuum, I noticed this little ring or half ring. I'm like, what is this? Why is this here? So I did something I rarely do. I opened up the instruction manual and it actually highlights the ring here. It says, find dust collection. For increased filter life and ease of cleanup, use a fleece dust bag to collect fine dust particles. Single pack, catalog number 49-90-2016. To install the fleece dust bag, slide the cardboard bag inlet into the dust bag holder. We previously did a whole video on if you're going to be vacuuming up 
silica dust, drywall dust, fine particulate. Instead of relying on what can sometimes be very expensive filters, you want to use them in conjunction with a collection bag. That bag will contain that fine particulate. The filtered air then moves through the bag, through your filter, and you don't have to worry about clogging up these expensive filters. You can even empty those bags in some instances and get more life out of them. So if you're going to be doing extensive drywall repair, you're going to be using this vacuum to do it, you're going to want to get that fleece bag. We're going to be running some dry tests first. We want to put our filter on. It's as simple as it's notched here. They slide into the notches on the base. You twist, boom, you're done. Just be mindful that there are instructions on the filter itself for you to follow along with. Now that the filter's on, we're gonna flip our vacuum over back onto its base. We're gonna lock down our, our tabulates here on the side. Here on the rear of the vacuum at the exhaust port, we have some hieroglyphics. We have a lock and unlock marking. Now, I don't know if we need the Egyptians to figure out what this will be for. Maybe, quite maybe, this will be for a muffler. As you can see, our, our locules are still accessible on the side. So even if we had something else stacked next to our vacuum, we're still able to actuate those locules. Once we've undone the clippies, we could raise the lid. You can see here's our adapter. We have our crevice tool kept nice and firmly in place. And then we have the utility nozzle. How does our pack out vacuum stack up against the half size toolbox or even the cooler? It rides right next to that half box perfectly. Then we're able to stack another box on top. Pretty cool. I mean, you're pretty much able to use your vacuum at will. Your, your power, your low, high, and off is here, easily accessible. Your vacuum hose comes out, you're able to use it. When you're done, easily stowed. We're gonna use a six amp hour HO battery, 21700 cells in this bad boy, it's fully charged. Slip it down into the vac. I also will let you know that your hosual, okay, you can see there's more hieroglyphics here. We have a locked and an unlocked markings. Twisted to unlocked, we can then undo our hose. Now, you can see we're locked in. You can potentially use this as a blower. Before we get to the sucking part of the test, I feel like we should confirm the decibel ratings of this vacuum. So you can see ambient noise in the space is about 31, 32 decibels. When we turn on the vacuum, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to replicate this best as possible. We have the pack out vacuum here. We're going to test it in this position. So we're gonna take out our pack out vacuum. We're gonna put our old briefcase vacuum in this space. We're gonna make sure there's a battery in here and there is, there's the old school nine amp hour battery. It's fully charged. Let's see what we get decibel wise. You can see the meters bouncing around between 91 and 94 decibels. Not bad. This is generation one M18. We would hope that Milwaukee could improve. We're gonna find out in just a second, but before we do that, we're gonna roll in a shop vac that is probably found across at least this nation on a large majority of job sites, the rigid. And just so you can see, it does have that fine particulate bag in there. Really works like a charm. So the five horsepower rigid corded competitor came in right around 87 decibels. It's about five decibels quieter than the generation one, two and a half gallon wet dry vac from Milwaukee. Because there is a bag inside this vacuum that could be acting as a muffler. If you wanna see further testing, comparing the, the three, then leave it down in the comment section below. Maybe we will run 
this vacuum without the bag. And finally, we have the Fuel Brushless M18 pack out capable two and a half gallon wet dry vacuum. Let's start it out on low. So you're running around 73 decibels on low. Let's see how it does on high. You can see we're bouncing right at around 81, 81 and a half decibels. So you're talking about a, a nine to 10 decibel difference from Gen 1 Milwaukee to the new Milwaukee Packout. If you added a muffler to the back of this, it would be even quieter. And on top of that, it's, it's six to seven decibels quieter than its corded competitor. I'm extremely excited that the performance so far is lining up with the claims. I will say Milwaukee sometimes takes a really great tool and creates such crazy expectations that it sours the taste in people's mouths. If, if they just kept the expectations realistic, people's overall experience, there would be nothing to complain about. And they, it seems as though so far they've done that here. I'm really excited. I'm really wanting to see the power of the suction on this tool. We're gonna to do some suction testings. I wanna start out with, with dry material first, then we'll move into some wet material. We're gonna leave it up high. So as, we've, as we're vacuuming, right, it, it not only has to be able to pick up all that sand, it needs to pick it up approximately two feet. It literally has gravity working against it. We could, try, we could start it out on speed one, because let's just say this was an occupied space. We would want only enough suction and sound to complete the job. I mean, it's got a, a nice amount of suction, even on low. And there's not a doubt in my mind that it would pick this entire pile up on low. But let's put it on high, see how it does. I mean, that's got to be some kind of record. That was amazing. Do you see how quickly it picked up that pile of sand? Wow. That's uh, just a lot of suction. Look at that. That is powerful. Look, it's trying, to, it's trying to suck. It's trying to suck the sand right through the filter. And here's the thing. Like, if you wanted to clean out your, your vacuum, you couldn't do it while it was stacked up against another box. You need to remove it, which is fine. Now, Milwaukee calls for a 47-inch a water lift, H2O lift. We're right at that 47. We're a little less. Little left, 46 and a half. You know what I mean? Here at the at the top of the fitting. We're gonna extend down into the bucket to the bottom. We're gonna try to capture as much of that as possible. We're also gonna capture the decibel meter. We're gonna see how long it takes and if it can pull what looks to be approximately two gallons of water. We're supposed to stop at 1.8. We're gonna go a full two gallons into the vac. It seems as though we're at a stalemate here. At this point, on the job site, what I would normally do is lift the hose up so that it could clear the water that's in this hose. It's, it's not clearing up and over. So that's what I'm gonna try to do now. I'm going to unseal it from the water. As you can see, some water came, dropped back out. Some water was pulled into the vacuum, okay? It did clear a whole bunch of water. I'm going to say it cleared about a gallon. What we're going to do is, I'm going to start the vacuum over again and see if it can clear the rest of the water. The vacuum stalled again. Okay, so it sucked up another, I don't know, half a gallon. 
We're gonna see if we can complete this job. I mean, if we if we did not keep it sealed, you'll see it has no problem. Clearing that water. This time, what I'd like to do is all out speed. How long would it take under normal circumstances, not sealed, just doing the job? How quickly can it get done, okay? if you like claims that are met when a manufacturer puts out a new tool that you asked for then smash the like button it's free for you to do it helps out the channel immensely and you get seven years of good luck also let us know down below did you score the three-piece pack out for $109.87 and are you going to be getting the new M18 fuel pack out capable two and a half gallon shop wet dry vacuum we want to know how do you think it did in our testing i think it did great what do you think of our testing criteria we don't really care so it doesn't matter. also what other tests do you want to see nuts bolts screws nails cinder block we want to know. Leave it down below. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here here, and maybe over here. See you later.